what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you use nearby share from your Android devices to your PC any Windows PC or your laptop you can say and this is of course supported Windows 10 and above for phones I think it is supported Android 6 and above and I'm guessing you should be already having Android 10 plus phones your PC should be Windows 10 plus or even Windows 11 and I'll be showing you with Windows 11 PC and Android 13 phones and talking about basics of course your PC or laptop should be having Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth kind of cards and if it doesn't have it use third-party adapters to actually get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your PC or laptop you will need the Google Files app on your phone and of course you will need the nearby share app for Windows so where can you get it well you can just search on Google that nearby share beta you can just search that keyword in Google and after that you will find a Android link you'll find a website and you can just click on it of course in the videos description you can find all the important links so let me show you here how can you seamlessly transfer with this how it looks so this actually says better together exe setup this is kind of a chrome kind of installation wizard and once you open the particular window it will look like this it shows nearby share beta from google you have to actually sign in to your email id and make sure you are signed in on the phone and the pc the same email id here it will show you this particular settings which says receive from your device or you can change it receive from everyone receive from the contacts and receive from your devices i use this particular option or if you just don't want to use the nearby share for the time being you can set it to device is hidden and there is the select file or select folder option to actually send it quickly from the pc to your phone now here let me show you the settings of this we have the device name and the file location you can actually change i have changed it to this folder the nearby share folder and there is the device visibility settings again and you can see the about section and of course on the bottom right shows beta and here i have the send and receive option on my phone and also i can open it on this phone too in this you have to go into this nearby share tab on both of these devices now here you can use also the normal sharing option but i'll be using this files app the google's files app and here let me just select send let's assume i'm going to select a small file which is this one so i'll just select this one and you can just select next once you do that as you can see this nearby share kind of thing pops out now if it doesn't show up it will actually tell you to turn on nearby share on your phone now here i can send it to both devices right now i'm gonna send it to the pc and just when i select this as you can see it shows this files received and if i go into this nearby share folder image as you can see this is the photo that i just sent let me show you from here to this phone and if i just select this one as you can see it shows file sent and it shows up the files over here so this is just seamless now here let's assume i'm gonna send a rom file which is this one the miui kind of file if i click next and send it to my pc now one more thing is that your speeds of transfers will be depending on your wi-fi router whatever router you are connected to on your phone is the maximum speed which is supported i have a wi-fi 5 router so it will be transferring on wi-fi 5 speeds but if you have wi-fi 4 or 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi it will transfer on that speed now let's assume i'm gonna send this particular thumbnail that i made to a phone the redmi k20 pro or note 10 pro so all i have to do is just grab this particular file and just drop over here it will show make sure both of the devices are unlocked here it will show you which phone you want to send it to let's assume i'm going to send it to the k20 pro and i'm selecting it and choose connecting and as you can see the file has been already there this is how you can actually share it now if i want to send it to a different phone i can do that too over there and here it will open the files i guess so after pasting it as you can see the file is there on my redmi note 10 pro so this is how you can seamlessly transfer your files on your phones and your pc or laptop and nearby share is just amazing it's some of the people who are comparing it with airdrop even if you can can you send files easily on your android devices the windows and android kind of ecosystem right now is awesome with nearby share if you want to use it please share this video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And this is Tito from KDNTech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.